Hi everyone, my name is Saladora. It's about 6.50 a.m. and I'm almost on my way to work. I want to thank Hooping.org for putting together a Hooping Idol. It's a really interesting way to see what's going on with a lot of hoopers around the world. Um, I started hooping about two and a half years ago. A friend of mine named Kellen had seen people hula hooping at the All Good Music Festival and decided that she wanted to start hula hooping on a regular basis, so she made herself a bunch of hula hoops and brought them back to my college campus, Earlham College in Richmond, Indiana. And uh, when I was watching her hula hoop for the first few times, I was just so intrigued how interesting it looked while she was hula hooping and how, fun, how much fun she was having. And so I decided that I would pick it up too. And I would hoop for maybe four, five hours a day when I first started because I really wasn't very good, you know, had a hard time keeping it up. And I would get these huge bruises on my hips. I don't know if you've seen pictures online, people getting bruises from hula hooping, but it can be pretty intense sometimes. And uh, it was really a great thing that happened to my life. I'm really glad that I started hula hooping and I haven't been able to give it up since. Hi, so I live in Richmond, Indiana, in a beautiful uh, Midwestern town right on the border of Indiana and Ohio. And as part of my house, I dedicated one of the rooms to hula hooping. So I'm going to try and show it around to you here. Came with these really interesting built in mirrors. And it's just a really nice space to hula hoop in. Pretty high ceilings which has been a problem in houses I've lived in before accidentally breaking ceiling lights. So here's a clip from where I work. It's actually a middle school library. Maybe middle schoolers are a little bit crazy sometimes, but they're actually really great to work with. So this is a picture of my, or a little clip of my house from the outside. It's on the main street of my town, so we get a lot of traffic, but it's really lovely brick house built in the year 1900. And this is my favorite part about the house. It's this beautiful little rose bush sitting in our yard. So I hope everyone is having a good time hooping. Catch you all later.